Yo, yo, yep, yep. Where everybody at tonight, man? I hope you guys are ready to talk to me a little bit tonight. Um, let's see who's on. Let's see who's on. Let's see who's on. Take a second, guys, that you jump in, share it with somebody. Listen, if you already are online tonight, um, whether you're looking at this for a repost or whatnot, jump on right quick and um when you jump on just go ahead and share it with somebody before you even watch it even if this is a rerun for you if you haven't watched it yet if you're not watching it live jump in send the messages respond to some of the stuff but make sure you share it with somebody tonight um who's whoever's on tonight and i'm looking forward to having a good show tonight as you guys jump in i'm just telling you now this might be a bit of a uh blood rush tonight for some people with the uh, show um you might get under some skin tonight a little bit we'll see what happens man look we're, we're gonna have a good time tonight and talk i'm waiting on my guys you know some of my co-hosts they have some technical issues today so i'm giving them some time to jump on so i'm just gonna chat with you guys while i wait um hopefully uh hopefully they won't be long with problems but tonight we're gonna talk a little bit tonight about Toxic, 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 toxic breakups. So when it comes to breakups, we're going to talk a little bit about how, uh, what qualifies, what really qualifies it to be a toxic situation after you've broken up for a person not to be over you. How long should it take for a person to say, okay, they're over me now. And if they don't say they're over you, is, is there really a certain time limit where it becomes uh, or seen as toxic? That's what we want to talk about tonight. So, guys, as you jump in, uh, we're going to talk about that tonight. Also, we're going to talk about uh, the pastor that got robbed tonight. We're going to talk about him a little bit tonight. Also, I know some of you guys are just waiting to just, uh, talk about that situation. So, we're going to talk about it a little bit tonight and um, see what response really is so as you guys get ready and you jump on just feel free to jump in and talk to me tonight a little bit it's going to be a good show i promise you it will so um as you guys jump in and share it with somebody let's get sharing it tell some people to jump in with us i'm going to take a moment and share as well because i don't usually get a chance to share with everybody uh, because i'm kind of like on it as soon as i jump in the show you know we get to running and everything so i'm gonna take my time for a little bit tonight while i'm waiting on some of my hosts to jump in and um we're gonna get this thing going uh let's see i can't really see who's on so as you jump in man give me a shout out give me a shout out in the comment in the comment section give me a shout out in the comment section and uh and let's see if we can get some people to jump in right quick Let's talk toxic tonight. Uh, I know a lot of times, you know, people be, see, people trip a lot of times. You know, people think that they're not toxic. But a lot of the stuff that people do really is toxic. So let's be real about it. A lot of stuff that people do is toxic. But they won't, they won't, they won't say that it's toxic. They won't agree with it. So I want to, I want to see what time it is tonight. I'm, I'm shooting out some um, invites right now. Some of my peeps. Let them know that I'm on. And of course, we'll see. We can't get this room lit real quick. Okay. So let's see what's happening here. Um, I see people starting to jump in. I see people jumping in. What's up? What's up? What's up, Chef? What's up, man? Mar oh, Lord. Oh, I see. I see Marilyn is starting already. But it's going to be a fire. The room going to be a, a full of fire tonight. I can see that already gonna be full of fire tonight y'all full of fire i can see it coming 
So yeah, I'm just getting a second right now. I'm just uh, I'm chiming in right now, inviting some people in. I'm inviting some people in. I hope we get some people to correspond. Let's talk tonight, man. What what's toxic? I mean, when when we talk about relationships, let's okay. I got my boy Cam is on deck. All right, Cam, what's up, my brother? Um, so I mean, let's let's seriously, man. Like, what what really is what is what is a time limit that you can say yo this is toxic like if if you've broken up with somebody already and that person is still like i'm not talking about they you cross their mind when they see you type of thing but i'm talking about this person still stalks your 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 facebook instagram everything this person still is crazy about you still sends you messages and it's been a long time since you broke up what what is a what is i i, I keep wanting to say legal time limit but i guess i think we kind of take this a little bit far but let's say what is a realistic time limit where a person should be over you i mean what, what's the, what's the time limit that a person should be like, yo, yo, you don't even cross the mind no anymore. You know what I'm saying? It's done. Right quick, like Cam, what's up, man? I'm glad you was able to jump in. What's yeah, up? Yeah, technical brother? difficulties. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks for jumping in, my brother. Thanks for jumping in. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Uh, it's good to see you. I'm glad that you were able to get that uh technical thing uh fixed and everything so what's up cam give everybody a shout out that you just jumped into the room man let's talk a little bit yeah well i like to give the lord jesus christ shout out for us yep and yep. then my family everybody else and then the fams but okay. um we gonna have a good show tonight uh toxic <laughs> immediately been there ah. stalkers been there <laughs> okay okay yeah, so i um i feel like uh I, I can't put I, I'm not that type of person uh, uh, have I even been that type of person so I can't really give a, a time line on on how long they should you know because uh I know someone who uh still obsessed with me for over 15 years whoa <laughs> so I guess whoa. that's the time right there okay <laughs> so you know and they crazy okay <laughs> so okay but, go ahead go ahead yeah but um uh i i think if you know a person move on with their life and you can see they have a family and so forth um i think that i mean um you know i got a lot of people with a lot of mental issues man so it's so like i don't know i i i i can't really um you know it, it's i don't know they gotta see can see the lord i guess because <laughs> As okay. Far as making them change. I, I don't know. I don't know. I see Gabby says is immediately just joking. Laugh out loud. She says, I mean, depending on how deep it was, she yeah. says six to six months to a year is is like a a, a a normal time limit where a person should be over you. Like wow. done. Um uh okay, so okay, what? I see, I see, I see that. All right, okay, six months to a year, okay. What? I mean, but go ahead, Cam. But you know, but you know what? Some sometimes it's not that they get over, you know. They just don't. They can't get over the fact that you move on, and they don't want to. They don't want you. They just don't want to see you with somebody else, or they don't want to feel like you're being successful, or you move on to do something else that they didn't expect. You understand? So, so it's not like they really want you. They might they may have got over you but not in the sense of as far as um you know their their uh i don't know how to word it <laughs> well you know it's strange it's strange because you know truthfully man i i mean like i i had situa i've had situations in um in the past where uh like where like you you have been like i've been separated from a person for a long period of time and that per uh, the, the old person that I used to deal with which showed up to the house to the door like with a knife like literally saying she wants to fight the person who's at my house just because wow um but, but the crazy thing was was that she had moved on 
and I had moved on. And it was like, even though I guess I don't know if whatever she moved on to didn't work out or whatever, but but this was like over a year later she showed up. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. You no, know, so that was to me that's really weird. Like for me, that's right. really strange. Like if you have no communication with a person for a long period of time, say a year, you haven't talked to them in a year, but they when you do see them the intensity of how they feel the, the whole way is still there where they feel as if though they you belong to them i right. feel like that's toxic like for me i think that that's dangerously yeah. toxic you know what i'm saying and um so so it's like i know i know for like some some women you know what i'm saying some women will tell you man like like they fear you know what i mean the the ex because the ex they feel like the ex has not uh, moved on, and that ex still feels like they're they're still attached to them in some type of way. I see you, uh, Love John. She says it's deeper. Sometimes every situation is different. Okay, yeah. I love the way you said that. So here's my question. So here's my question. Wait, wait, wait. Well, she did expound on it a little bit before I get started into that. Wait. Uh, so she says sometimes women see how you love another woman, mm-hmm. and they're upset because they never experienced that side of you. True. Right. Right. Okay. That's true. Yeah. That's true. That's true. That's Very true. true. Okay, so, but here's my question. Like, my question is, what makes a person still want the person? Like, like, like. Okay, so the person is, you know, the person moved on, broke up. It's been, let's say, a shorter period of time. It's been four to six months time frame, not a year, and you guys are broken up. And it's done. Basically, the other person is seeing other someone else, sort of like in this case where you say, "Okay, what if the woman sees this guy and she wanted that side of him, but she never got to experience that side? What makes her want to really be with him? Do she does she really want to be with him because she did not get that from him, and she feels as if though if she got that from him?" The relationship would have been different because she would have responded differently or something in that nature or right. or or is it you this person belongs to you period like if i had that person before that's still my you know what i'm saying even right, if right. Like, i've had people say like even if they moved on with someone else they still feel like the person that they used to be with belongs to them uh, come on, right. Cam, have you ever heard someone say something? Oh, yeah. I, you know, I've heard guys say stuff like that. I even heard females say that before, but they were like, you know what I'm saying? Look, look, I know we split up, but but they still mine. You know what I'm saying? That, that I, I'll always have that person's heart. I'll, I'll always have that person's mm-hmm. mind. It's like as if though there's a certain amount of obsession or, or, or ownership taken, um, a, a, like a type of, like they possess, like they you know they have possession of this person's heart right or mine or they feel like they should so if that's the case and this is the thing that trips me out is like uh what is how long can that possibly linger before you really call it toxic like you right. know what i'm saying like right. this is this we're in the same time where like well we, we've seen an increase of people who end up murdering like their 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 ex and the children you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. and themselves and this has been a long time that since they woke up so what's really what was that red flag yeah. moment where you say okay this is it i need to do something different because this is a bit toxic you know what i'm saying they still text they still call and even though i've told them not to call anymore i moved on they still call what is that red flag moment when yeah. when, the, when the chill when is a certain chill comes across your body that 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 hit you instantly that make you because it happened to me i I just thought about a a situation i had um i'm gonna try to make it short but when my um old r&b group used to be out there we used to be opening up for a lot of people and all that and i remember um i had a girl i used to date um like i I dated her probably like twice Uh one time she called me i'm on another date and she, I, the, the phone ran, but it, I didn't know who was calling. And uh-huh. then she started questioning me. And we didn't date for eight, eight months at the time and started threatening me. <laughs> I never did anything wrong to the girl. Next thing I know, um, 
uh about a year later we um we we get ready to open up for uh montel jordan and right. i was in the dressing room and i i was dating the dancer <laughs> so this other dancer told her about it she came to the show got backstage upstairs and came in there with a knife and started yeah big big deal man and i only dated a girl twice but i i never did anything matter of fact she showed up at my um i had this uh job i was was doing also and she in the beginning uh before we had hit the road and she showed up at the at the, at the law office All right and so i snuck out the back went down uh 13 flights <laughs> snuck across the, the 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 parking lot and uh, then uh, i heard she showed up uh several days again looking for me same thing I'm like god leave, man wow wow that's yeah. crazy that's yeah, crazy. It was crazy man but i don't know what it you know women could probably answer this more than you and i right um why this person probably did that and they're probably gonna say oh you probably did her wrong and did something to her oh wow you know mess with her mind but it was but honestly it was nothing like <laughs> it was nothing like that i know marilyn you're gonna have that slick look on my face but <laughs> <laughs> but marilyn already said don't get in trouble cam hey <laughs> love jones said she can't type fast enough you, you should jump in love love jones you should jump in listen listen let me tell you something you know the, it's crazy man but it's so true that you know okay i get it with guys like right i know now women listen i'm not being biased i promise i promise you i'm not being biased but there's a certain amount of animal instinct with, with men. A certain amount of animal instinct. So ladies don't really understand this much, but men are very territorial when it comes to um like like there's certain things like smell and things like that mm -hmm. that that men it's like you you animals go about and they leave their smell in areas to say this is their territory so to speak okay men have this thing and it's like with us mustache beard mm -hmm. it collects smell um, this is a little right. deep so once a man has and this is crazy i'm gonna let this, i'm gonna wait and see if some of the guys jump in on this and tell tell the truth now watch I'm, I'm gonna see if the guys tell the truth so once a man has collected a certain smell from you it's it somewhat ingrains in their mind mm -hmm. and it's like that smell drives a man crazy so that's like for the for the man all day long you know, it could be a perfume, whatever. This stuff, it, it, it's trapped in your mustache, whatever it might be. And it and, and from that point on, you know what I'm saying? He's thinking about you constantly. Now, some men don't know how to detach from that. Now, right. this, and look, I, was, I swear somebody's going to take this part of the clip and they're going to share this all over the internet. And I promise you some men are going to come back and tell you this is real talk. This is real talk. Yeah, this is real talk now. But it's real talk and so so once that smell sets in a man gets that stuck in his mind uh look oh, oh look look i got one of the fellas that jumped on and said and us as men we also smell women especially when we hug them exactly oh, my yeah. i'm glad yeah. you said that alex mm -hmm. Jonathan, thank you bro i'm trying to tell everybody right yeah. now listen so once the smell is attached to that woman and that man has attached that to a feeling an emotion, a thought, whatever it may be, you it to detach from him after he thought that this you were his mm -hmm. could cause an issue. And yeah. and that's why like that's why it's very important that that you know you 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 know exactly what you're dealing with when you're dealing with certain guys because you, you just oh, yeah. some guys that have a crazy point that don't know how to turn that off. You know what I'm saying? Right. So right. and then so so with that issue being said we have to really consider like okay let's get a little deep in this we're grown folk talking here like on the grown tip especially like you know to touch a woman 
to feel a woman in any way to touch her that ingrains in our thought process right mm -hmm. the, the touch it ingrains right? so then beyond that let's go a little bit further but let's go a little bit further beyond that if there's any type of sexual contact and that man has gotten you your smell on his on him in any way it's going to be a real serious uh from that point on a serious detachment issue unless he's just like you know even dogs like people that we call a guy a dog because he he deals with a lot of different women but even that those type of guys really are super toxic because it's a matter of now uh, uh multiple issues going on here and and they're like all the wires are all crossed but when you have that one woman you spent time with for some time and the split up is a bad split up, like there's no, mm -hmm. you know, she just decided to go another route. She just mm -hmm. decided one day that this isn't good for her. Um, whether, and he didn't really do anything wrong for this to happen. That could be a real bad situation. But the question is, how long do you let that flow before right. it a real toxic situation because it can get toxic hey jonathan what did you say on this one it says i just had this conversation with the ex today i i could smell with her the over the grill and fryers and denny's wow wow with the ex. all she could do was laugh i smelled her for the for the entrance she overpowered the food wow See, and that's that's what I'm talking about. I don't think people, man, we might have to have a show on that all by itself. Because see, this, women this, don't understand this. I talked this, to my wife this, about this topic, this. and she looked at me like I was straight crazy when I said it. But it is so true. We, they, as much as we would like to think we're beyond animal, like yeah. the animal nature in any way, we are very much so still that human side of us natural side of us is very much so just like an animal type of nature we especially for men i'm telling you for men we are creatures that that we we have territory set we have a, a dominant set into place all of these things are in our mind and ingrained in us and i believe it's a natural aspect go ahead ken what were you about to say so jonathan you you, you just had that conversation today with an ex so, so you hooking yourself back that way? Uh oh no, don't do that. Don't do that to Jay. Don't do that to Jay. He said facts. He said facts. Real he talk. back that way, man. Hey, listen. No, but real talk though. Like, like, like I can I can I can be in a totally different state from my wife. And I can smell my wife. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I can I can I can still smell. Why? Because it is ingrained here more than here. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. It's, it's a memory thing. And it's like, like anytime you see like animals, like when an animal can go through the whole forest, but he'll always come back to the spot that he has marked for his home or what, mm -hmm. what he is, because they have that, that, um, that instinct and, and that, that smell, uh, factor that sets their course a lot of times. So we have to be really careful how we uh, let people get attached. Like, right. uh, you know, so when people break up, they can't leave you alone. So sometimes that toxic nature, man, it, it becomes very dangerous. Like oh, yeah. when you see guys that can't, and it goes both ways. I don't know exactly what it is. I think for women, a lot of times it's the emotional part of it mm -hmm. <clears throat> more than anything else, but it goes both ways. Like, like as, as far as there being men out there that are very toxic, that can't let go. There are women out there that are very toxic that can't let go. Like, like you know what I'm saying. So, um, next question. I add, that brings me to the next question. Uh, to what extreme have you ever seen? To what extreme have you ever seen a person take? What extreme have they have they gone to to get you back? I told you the girl pull a knife on me. Not, not, not yet. I see what I'm saying. Like, like. <laughs> Let's let's talk for a minute. Like, 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 let's look at that for a minute. Who else? Like like what extreme? Like I I've had several different situations. Like in my past before marriage, you know what I'm saying. I've had different situations. You know, one, uh, one 
you know, that, what I shared earlier, she basically stalked the house, came with a knife, wanted to fight the other girl. Basically, I've, I've seen that scenario several times, you know, before marriage. But um, when I think about it, you know what I'm saying? Like, what extremes have some of our viewers seen? You know what I'm saying? Right, Let's right, see. right. Uh -oh, I see. Jonathan said, no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, <laughs> said, no sir. That's what's up. <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on. I started hold on. in high school. Oh yeah, I never, I, I'll never forget that one. Oh, she's oh, love. Jones says, oh yes, of course. Your wife is fine, fine. Well, well, it's not. <laughs> it's, 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 it's not just about fine. Like you know, the crazy thing is, you know, I'm gonna tell you something. When it comes to men, for men, it's not like the body is like not a real factor. Why men? chase a woman down like you know what i'm saying like it's not really looks or shape or anything like that why men become obsessed men become obsessed and this is gonna be crazy for y'all but i'm telling you now it's certain things that make men crazy about women it ain't it's not just about their look or shape I'll tell you something that's really crazy, and this is going to be really thick. Look, some of y'all, like, they're not even, Cam, they're not ready for this. No, they're no, not ready for this. No, I don't think. No, I promise. I, don't I, I know. I know. Yeah. yeah. It's a couple of things. Yeah. You can curl your lip a certain way, do your eyes a certain way, and that will stick in a man's memory. Literally. That's true. Drive him crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like he he will think about that moment, think about yeah. your face, think about the way. Yeah. You know, it's not just about oh, just being pretty, but it's about certain character. It's certain about the characteristics, certain things. Right, about, right. Let me say personality, personality, mm -hmm. and things like that that they get connected to, and then they can't they can't stand to see you with somebody else. Yeah, that. real it, talk. That's real it, talk. Your swag, yeah. certain things like that. It's, you, you know, stand a certain way. Yeah, you stand Wait, a certain uh, way. Uh, 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 a conversation, conversation, conversations. Yeah, it's man. Things that men grab, and and that's it. Like they want you, and and they don't want anybody else to have you. And 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 it it really, you know, that goes for like women that are considered beautiful, as well as some women that some people might consider very average or below. You know what I'm saying? When it comes right. to the looks category or shape category. And, and, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and we look for we look for certain marks and and and, and women's body too. Like, yes. like mole, like a mole, uh, uh you know, it, right. you know yeah. certain little things. You know. Uh oh, Marilyn said I got kidnapped, locked in a closet for days until I escaped, but Wow. That's another story. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> that's another story, but that's extreme, boy. Yeah. That's extreme. Um, oh, they, yeah. oh, she's that's said, real, Marilyn. Tattoos, tattoos that yeah. some guys a tattoo. I, mm, yes. I don't. I don't like. I don't like tattoos all over women, man. Some guys, some guys are crazy yeah. about tattoos. Some guys crazy, but I, not a lot of tattoos, you know. Now, now here go, here go, here goes your your um here goes a pastor confession moment from 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 the pastor before before marriage <laughs> but for me when i was out there in the, when i was out there living that life if i saw a woman with a lot of tattoos it drove me crazy about it like like i love tattoos and piercings like like crazy stuff like that was like a, a big turn on for me and um so yes you're absolutely right um tattoos is one of those things that guys can see and, and it just it, it adds an element to them to their thought process it's just it's amazing like it, you'll, you'll be surprised how the mentality like what happens mentally i mean inside of a person's head that causes them to attach to someone like you know what i'm saying like all right let's put it this way how many times have you seen a story where a guy did something super stupid like he was so crazy about this woman and then you saw the picture of the woman or you see a woman that's very beautiful and then you see the guy that she was fighting over and that right. guy is like not a not that there, there's nothing about him that that gives the uh uh, uh the image of having a handsome uh appearance of any type mm -hmm. you're like wow he looks you know what i'm saying some people use the term ugly you know what i'm saying right 
Right. She's crazy about him. Why is she fighting over him? So it's sort of like it's just certain things that can happen to a person in in the mental that has them attached. And so it's hard for them to let go. I want to read some of these comments, guys. I want to read some of these comments. Hold on one second. Let me read another comment here. What we got? Um, this is crazy that I had this uh, this conversation. My ex would pull her glass. Uh oh, there it goes. Her glasses down and mess my whole sight up. See what I'm saying? Wow. Like that. I would ask her what you want, and I will get it. There it is. And there and there it goes. So basically, just just that look, just that element of the glasses made her uh, have a certain uh, pull. You know what I'm saying? On on just on the mind. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, here we go. Wait, I gotta read some more of this because they light me up with these comments. You can't just be uh, eye candy. You gotta be soul food too. True, absolutely. It got. It has to be. It's. I, I tell you, man. It's always something. It's, it's sort of like. Let's put it this way. Like, and I've had this situation before in the past. You can have a woman that is a dime. I mean, a dime. Everybody wants her because of how beautiful she is, how she shapes, whatever, right? But for you, the moment she starts to talk a certain way or act a certain way, like like argue a lot and things like that, I don't care how beautiful she is. Mm -hmm. It shuts off the mind. Like you no, really don't care anymore. It's like you're done. You know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. like you, you can move on because it's like that all of those other elements are really like superficial. So when you start to think about the the deeper things that connect the person, it's those, I'm telling you, it's those personalities mm -hmm. and those little things that people don't oh, really yeah. pay attention to um, that really grab a person's attention. Yeah. And, and if they can't let it go, they remember that, they remember that, they remember that, but it's like, even when they're broken up, no longer talking again, Guess what? Those little things come back to mind. Go ahead, Cam. But see, think about it. What you're saying is so true. Think about it. a man, he's married, or maybe he's not married, but he's dating someone or with someone. He goes to work. He's not smiling today, but there's somebody have an eye on him. And she, you know, women can detect things. Right. So therefore, she walks in the uh, break room, put her hands on her hip, uh, perk us her lip a certain way, give him a right. certain look. Next right. thing you know, he start thinking like, "Oh man, oh wow, nah, 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 let me get that out of my head." Right. And the next day, she does it again. Then his mind, then he's getting all his problems at home now. So now he start focusing on work. He's looking for something, an outlet, something that's gonna make him feel good. And there it goes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 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 Jonathan just said this in the comment. He said women, women make their body talk. Yeah. Uh, that's another whole language in itself. Some know how to use that to their advantage. And that's so true. It's so true. And, and so and that's the dangerous part about it. You got to especially for women, women have to know the power that they're working with. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And, and, you know, a lot of people make women think that the power that they're working with is what's between their legs. It's not. It's not the power true. that you're working with is your personality. A right. man will right. be more, a man will be crazier about you because your personality and, exactly. the, and your character versus sex. Trust and believe that. Like, oh, yeah. like, like they'll, it'll, it will get them far beyond you know what i'm saying it'll take so much so women have to be very careful you know what i'm saying about that because men will be obsessed with you mm -hmm. obsessed with you um if you don't know how to gauge that like you know what i mean it'll draw unnecessary unwanted attention as well um okay so i got i got a statement here from uh staff he says back in the days i had a girl that was a good looking girl but was probably at the bottom compared to other women but i like her more just based off of the small things absolutely or he said don't kill me gay gabby oh uh, <laughs> yeah, that was just a, that was just that's just for information's sake for the show gabby that that wasn't a memory lane moment he wasn't thinking about it i promise so uh done uh it's always the small things absolutely absolutely so let's go um cam we're not talking about that bro we <laughs> 
trouble. You said we're not talking about that on this topic. You're gonna get us in trouble, man. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. He said that's a fight right there. That's a fight. <laughs> absolutely man so so okay all right so listen listen that is it is very very serious though you guys i'm telling you man so okay here's the next part so we go from how long okay some people said six months to a year i believe that some people probably even think shorter for a person to be to move on with their life you know what i'm saying okay second thing what was what was some of the extreme things we said some people have showed up with knives trying to fight okay mm -hmm. i get it okay so in the same category in the same lane when we talk about uh toxic relationships that have broken up and are done and the reason why okay my question is this have you ever had a situation happen where you've broken up with a person you thought it was over you thought it moved on, but they started calling you from different numbers and texting oh, yeah. different numbers. I, hey, I even yeah. had them have my phone taken off. What? Yeah. You did what? Take my turn my phone off. And I'm like, what's going on here? Call call Sprint at, <laughs> back in back in the days, call Sprint. And yeah, well, didn't you just turn your uh, phone? Ask to turn your phone off. Uh, no. <laughs> I, I see. My brother said the soul tie has to be broken before you can truly move on. Okay. All right. I get that. Now I get that, and I, I think that does work in some situations. But let me, like, let me say this right. I was one of those people where once i was done i was just done like you know what i'm saying like like okay i don't like i could have been i could have been lovey dovey the day before but if the wrong thing happened that crossed the line for me yep the very next day i'm out would be a stranger like i was the same way like, man yeah literally like you yeah. would be a stranger in my mind like literally i would make myself forget you like i would make myself not like respond to you and not in, in literally in my mind you would just not exist and so if if there was a conversation to be had like for me it was very easy for me to cut a person off like for me that was just yeah. like my mentality i guess uh having dealt with so many people you know what i'm saying in different situations mm -hmm. i could easily cut a person off so okay i see other people say this them too okay and, yeah. and they're like like what it you know, I, don't, I don't understand like for me i don't understand the process of like stalking although there are a lot of stalkers like people who just refuse to let go some people just refuse to lose right right like, they refuse to lose they refuse to feel like they got the bottom end of the stick and so they they kind of just carry on and carry on um so yeah but do you think it is easier for guys or easier for women to be done in an instant and be like walk away I, I think it's easier for women to be done yeah okay I all mean, right they, I'm in. They, ladies they, 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 come on ladies where you at uh-oh yeah, it, 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 he doesn't feel he, he doesn't feel either or, or have yeah, it it, it depends you know okay so uh marilyn said for females uh they're they're more emotionally attached so it might be harder for them um okay okay all right okay on deck so he said uh my cutoff game is strong wow okay that's what's <laughs> i did gabby okay that's what's up. <laughs> listen y'all don't let me get y'all 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 gonna start me to really clown and having fun with y'all but look yeah. It, all right so yes what, what happened bro no nah, no nah, guy, guys would, would would go out and cheat and do all that and still be with the same lady a woman it gets to a point where like they know for a fact that's what you're doing most most women they 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 just cut out they off mentally you know but i don't know it, it's it's 
I, I think women who play games, a men who play games, it's easy for them to, um, uh, uh, who know game, it's easy for them to cut off and run. You know what I mean? Cause they, they not, they, if they, if they don't want to be about that, um, it's easy, easy for them to, you know, walk away. But I think, I think it depends on, uh, it go both ways. It, it depends on, on, on the individual, you know, uh, male or female, man. Yeah. Cause that's a hard one right there. Hey, listen, I, I even see situations like he said he would get the uh, the text and the calls that say what you're doing even after they've been cut off already. Um, like, I know situations where, um, and I don't know if this is a form of attachment still, like situations where people have broken up with their ex, but they stay connected with them, like their best friend still. I, I never understood that that one I, I don't think i've ever understood that like yeah, if you've yeah. been in a deep relationship with somebody you've been sleeping with that person you've been in a real strong relationship then you guys break up but now you say that we're best friends still and what yeah, we're yeah. other people i don't understand i don't understand the mathematics yeah, yeah. like for me it's something for me it just i yeah. don't know what that really means what does that translate into in a realistic setting you know what i'm saying if right, I right. It the right way you know what i mean how does that translate in realistic settings i don't understand like i've never been able to understand that one yeah. never, is that still a form of obsession downplay or obsession camouflaged uh -huh. i think that one that's the one you would pick yeah in camouflage yeah yeah like you yeah. both really aren't over each other right right so so in a sly way you stay connected because you really do still have feelings with each other i don't know all yeah. i know is, is i've heard people say that and i still don't understand that for anything mm. yes okay all right here we go um they stay attached because the spirits are familiar with each other um better yet for some mm. it's a comfort zone i believe a comfort zone like i can fall back comfort zone like when things go bad where i'm at now i can fall back you know what i mean like that type of thing that's one of those things that i think that type of thing translates to i don't know i don't know listen wait before we go on guys now we got another piece of a topic that we got to talk about before we get off tonight cameron king <laughs> talk a little bit about the pastor in uh New York that got robbed. The church mm -hmm. got robbed in New York. Okay. So <clears throat> Cameron, go ahead. Tell me what you feel about that situation. I, I think he threw the hook and caught the fish and he just wheeled it in, man. Because, you know, hey, listen, I don't I don't see nothing wrong in having nice cars. Mm -hmm. uh, you could be flashy all you want and so mm -hmm. forth. But there comes a there's a draw a line that should be drawn where like especially if you're in a certain area like he was in, you know, uh or or it could or it could be like I feel like who know they said, I mean, I don't know this man. I really don't know him, you know. Um, but you could look at you could look at four corners of it. Um I was told that uh, he, he he was in prison for fraud. Now, it could be whereas he might have set those guys up to pay those guys to rob him. That's how a lot of us could, could probably think. It could be where, um, you know, he, he uh, I mean, it was just straight up rob because, because I saw one, I, I saw it for myself. There was one um, video, he was walking down and he was, boasting about i guess his outfit and then he pointed at his shoes and then right. you saw this nice cross on his neck right and then you saw his um uh rolls royce in the back and so forth so you have a lot of cats around that area they know who he is and they're like hey he got all this money hey that's rob i thank god that him and the members of the church and people who was visiting wasn't hurt Right. You know, thank God for that, that none of them got hurt, you know, right. but, but still we can look at it different ways. We don't know him. So I can't, you know, I can't, I can't throw dots at this man because 
I don't know him, you know, but that's the way if you're looking on, on the outside, these are the things that are going to cross your mind. Okay, you know? here's my question. Do you think that, okay, so I saw some of the videos and things like that. Do you think that the, um, the image that he portrays, personality that he portrays as far as the flashiness and the, um, the amount of like uh, flamboyancy with, with all of this like flashiness or whatnot I, do you think that that is a um a a, a a open invitation to um to being targeted yeah it is it's wide open but you know um like i said before you we can't we can't um if that's that's i mean that don't make him not uh, a real uh christian as far as him giving his life to, to, to Christ, you know, that, that doesn't make him not being that person of God, you know what I mean? But, right. you know, he's from the streets, just like we, we came from the streets. So right. sometimes there's certain things that you may still do because it's within you. I know we have to be separated from the world and so forth, but, but, but now, but, like I said, a lot of stuff is still within some people. And, and what it is, sometimes you got to get to that that maturity point where right. there you, you have this there within you your mind. Like, uh, let me don't do this because it may, because like, like that, exposing all of that, what it did, it brought a threat to his family. Right. And, and, and even more so, even more so, I think it's a big responsibility, man, that we do have to um, maintain a certain amount of um, a certain amount of presence that right. that speaks towards humility and not so much towards the um, spirit of arrogance or the spirit right. of God in any way, shape, or form. Um, we can have things, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's how we project, you know what I'm saying, who we are with the things that we have um like you know our spirit always our spirit will never tell a lie right Purely. like you know what i'm saying and so you can see um when a person has or not is not mature you said a key word when a person isn't mature versus a person that um is mature uh in christ and i believe that when we're in christ there's a certain level of maturity that we should have especially when we start saying that we're leaders in any way shape or form um you know what i'm saying in, in Cause his brother, he's riding down the road, man, and he's in, he's inside the Bentley, and he's bumping Biggie Smalls, I believe it is. And while he's bumping Biggie Smalls, <laughs> he's bumping Biggie Smalls with the chop down on the on the Bentley, and he's yelling out Apostle, Prophet. I'm like, come on, man, we come on, man, come on. <laughs> I mean, we the poor church, man. We get we get stuff in the black eyes. Boy, we get so many black guys it's crazy you know what i'm saying like mm -hmm. like the, the 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 topic of the topic of fake the topic of money thirsty you know what i'm saying doing this for all the wrong reasons that has become our label when it comes to talking mm -hmm. about the body of christ and man at some point at some point somebody has to say cut this foolishness out yeah, like yeah. you really man cut it out and like I, you know Marilyn said she just want to know what the man was doing sitting there chilling while this was going down I'm really look I saw, <laughs> I saw that yeah look, buddy must have been meditating in the spirit because he was so mm -hmm. calm it was too calm uh -huh. you know what I'm saying so I mean coming from the street you kind of see and you see things and you 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 know what you see you know what i'm saying like yeah, you yeah. just know look bro this ain't no regular robbery like you know what i mean like i've never seen the robbers come, go down that smooth and quiet like right, literally right. like i heard no talk i heard very little talk and everybody was calm nobody screamed right. nobody got hit upside the head with a pistol you know what i'm saying yeah. like you know <laughs> let's be real let's be real for a minute let's be real for a minute bro oh, let's be man. real let's be real man look Look, let's be real. You know, I've seen some. I've, you know, I'm putting the film. Hey, 
what I've seen and what part I had to do in it. But I know that there's a lot of robberies in the past that I've witnessed, quote unquote. So when I've witnessed robberies, I've never witnessed a robbery where there was multiple people there and it was that quiet. Right, right, right. right. The robbery Quite that, right. It didn't demand <laughs> any type of of of, of uh, obedience or any type of submission. Like there was no pistol whipping. Like back in the day when the robbery went down, somebody was going to get hit. hit. Yeah. On their head. Like seriously, because yeah. somebody had to be made an example of in order for everybody else to follow suit and right. you know just give up everything. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So motivation was always needed for these guys that came in with a couple pistols out here or whatever with some guns but that's that's usually not enough just to have a gun i mean usually you still got to do something you know what i'm saying to kind of make people motivated so this was just too quiet for me i was like bro it's just for me it seemed like a uh a setup it seemed like I, I set this up myself type of situation that's what it seemed like but at this point in time, I just don't understand why any church would be happening right now without somebody in that church holding. Like, seriously. Like, right. if this brother in Brooklyn driving a Bentley mm -hmm. with all this gold on, with all these name brands on, and you mean to tell me nobody in your church got a pistol? Nobody in your church got Yeah. That, and you don't even have something like... I don't understand that. We talk about Brooklyn now. I don't know how many of you guys have been right. to New York, been right. in Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how many of you guys, but as me having lived up there for some time, back and forth, and Deacons got guns, guns. bro. Everybody I, got guns. Everybody got guns. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everybody. You know what I'm saying? So, so it. You know the kids in Brooklyn got guns. You know what I mean? Like seriously. So I'm really like kind of curious as to why it happened so easily. But at the end of the day, they've really made a bad picture out of him. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, a lot of people have challenged him online and he's gotten online and he's had like interviews and he started cursing people out on the interviews. So, again, it starts going back to shift towards that ignorance level. Now, let me say this before we get off. This is the real talk about leadership and when it comes to pastoring. You know, we shouldn't. I, I don't think we can put a limit or a time frame on a person to tell them that they're not ready to preach. They're not ready to do this or whatever, preach or go witness to people. But I truly believe if you have not been tried already in the fire of life, that you have to be very careful about becoming in, in leadership as a pastor. You know what I'm saying? As a leader of a church, because that downfall. When you fail in that area, mm -hmm. it hurt far more people than mm -hmm. it does when you're just a person out witnessing that you fail. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Be careful what you reach for because right. the world is going to come after you when you make a mistake, period. Mm -hmm. Not only the world, the church is going to come after you when you make a mistake. So then the judgment thing when we say, oh, don't judge me. But at the end of the day, people are going to judge you. And that's real. Uh, dude sitting in the chair off from the pool, <laughs> just too calm. You're right, Trace. You're Trace. calm, man. You're right. You, You're you, way too calm, man. You, you know what? who robbed him? You know who robbed him? The, the guys that wash his car. He said they robbed his dice game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no, Jonathan. Oh, God. He said they robbed the dice game. I can't do this, man. <laughs> I can't do this, man. You right though, real talk, bro. <laughs> the dice game was always open for game, boy. Oh, Don't yeah. get caught slipping. Hey, for real talk. So, man, look, man, look. I enjoyed you guys, man. But look, I gotta go, man. I do gotta go tonight. I, I can't believe the time flew by so fast with y'all tonight. Yeah, man. My God, man. It was a good talk, good chat with you guys. Thanks so much for jumping on. And we will be back next week if it be the Lord's will. Guys, look, share this with somebody. Jump on the YouTube, subscribe to the uh, page. Uh, he's able. Um, it's with Thomas Ware and Friends. It's the podcast, guys. Look, once again, we're about to jump out of here, man. And, I, and that's what's up, Jonathan. Thanks so much. You said, as always, enjoyed the podcast. I appreciate it, my yeah, brother. Thanks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mason, I see you, man. Mason said, man, that was yeah. a fake robbery. You right, bro. That yeah. was fake. Someone <laughs> right about that, bro. <laughs> And the next day, he's driving down Brooklyn yeah. with his top dropped uh -huh. with Biggie on. Come on, man. 
talking about profit. Come on, man, cut it. Hey, well, hey, hey that, the prophet should have seen that coming, ain't it? Yeah, the prophet should have said it. <laughs> don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this, man. Don't do this. <laughs> Listen, it's, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. I swear, man. Well, boy, I tell you, this world right here, boy, this world, boy, we've seen the best <laughs> chapters in this book. I promise y'all, y'all playing, but boy, we reading some of the best chapters in the book yeah. right now. Some of the, some of the characters that them popped out the woodworks in this part of the book play have been amazing. Tell, tell me I'm lying, bro. Yeah. Tell me I'm lying, man. I'll tell you, man, we seeing some of the best oh. stuff. We, man, if we could take this back and tell our ancestors that that this is going to happen in the future with church, I guarantee they would be like, man, there's no way. No way. Yes way. Yes way. Man, we're going to have some more church talk, too, as we yeah. go forward, because there's a lot of stories out there, boy, that just, boy, they tickle me. Hey, hey I'm sending DJ, DJ No Love up to, uh, up to no New love. York. I'm going to show New York. He coming to New York to talk to y'all. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Look, I enjoyed you guys tonight, man. I hope you guys had a good time. Please share this with somebody, and um, I'll talk to you guys again soon. I got to get out of here. Got to be at another point, man. So y'all be blessed and take care. All right. Right, and fine. as we get ready to roll off of here, don't let me forget to say these words. They say-